In 2010, I went down to Lake Albert at Meningi and filmed the devastation that was really being caused by the lack of water coming through the River Murray. At the time, there was a drought throughout Australia and it was affecting the East Coast especially and South Australia being at the very end of the Murray River gets the last of the water that comes through and of course, if there's a drought up north, it slowly peters away through the whole affected region down to the very mouth of the Murray, which is of course a Goolwa in South Australia. And Lake Albert, of which the township of Meningi is on the shores of, is pretty well cut off. But here we are now, walking up the same little jetty that in 2010 was just in the middle of a desert. And that horizon out there, you went out about 150, 200 metres, that's where the water started. Now, as you can see, there's water all the way across. And there is no bare patch of sand, which actually had grass growing on it when we were down here in 2010. The shores are now lapping up against the rocks out the front of the motel where you stay. And the little lady of the lake is there and the fountain does work of course because the water's there to be pumped up again. The life of the lake is returning as well. It's great to see the birds there, the pelicans swimming past, the ducks, the seagulls, the terns, all feeding off the fish life that lives in the lake. It's not a very deep lake. But it is a sensational little place because as you're driving down from Adelaide, which is quite warm to the southeast, when you reach Meningi, that's when you start feeling the first of the cool air. And it's so much more comfortable in the devastation of a hot summer to reach that beautiful spot of Meningi and feel the coolness in the atmosphere. It was fairly windy today, but as you can see, the pelicans, it makes it a little bit easy for them to take off. They aren't domesticated, they are wild animals, so you don't get too close to them. They aren't affected by people, they do live right on the shores. And of course that's right next to the township, so they're used to human beings, but they don't interact with them unless it's to steal their bait or to steal their fish. For the townspeople of Meningi, the consternation caused by the lack of water coming down from the Murray and the politicking that was going on through the Queensland, New South Wales, Victorian and South Australian governments all didn't anything to alleviate their concerns that there was no water in their lake. There has now been a pipeline moved from the Murray River to Meningi to pipe more water into the township for their town supply of water. But the lake itself, although it has increased salinity, is still a freshwater lake. The importance of a water lake alongside Meningi, of course, has the benefit of tourism in the future. It's a great potential there in the township. When we are here in 2010, that pier was just sand underneath the bottom. Now there's water up to the top of the jetty. And water does bring life, and that's the key to it. And the serenity it brings at night out the front of the waterfront motel in Meningi is just absolutely sensational. The stillness in the air and that beautiful vista. Sometimes it's about more than what nature has and what nature is. People can make improvements. And here's one of the great advantages of a town with a great lake instead of a swamp.